I am back with my weekly what sold video. I don't even remember. I think I put out a video last week on Friday. I was in Aspen, Colorado. So if you didn't watch, oh, my hair. Um, if you didn't watch that video, I will link it up on the top. I went around and showed all of the like extremely bougie shops they have in Aspen in the morning before they opened. And then I did find a thrift store and a consignment store there that was really fun to go to. So if you haven't watched that, check it out. It's interesting to see. I would not be wanting to live there. First of all, it's like not my lifestyle. And there's like hardly any thrift stores around to close. There's like the closest Goodwill was two hours. And so I was like, Ugh, that would not work for me. So I'm gonna let you know what I sold this past week on the different platforms that I sell on. If you're new here, my name's Heather and I am a full-time reseller. I do three videos a week, normally all about reselling. So subscribe down below if that sounds interesting to you and you haven't yet. If you have already and you came back Thank you, thank you for continuing to support me. I did get over 3,000 subs this weekend, so I am super excited about that. I'm just continually trying to grow. So I didn't start this to make money. I started it to help people because I felt like I am somewhat good at it, I don't know. <laughs> and people ask me questions, so I'm like, why not start a YouTube video? It'd be great if this could add to my income someday, but for right now, it's like pretty pathetic. But hey, it's something, and so, that is exciting, so thank you so much for supporting me. Please give this video a thumbs up and always comment and share. That helps YouTube know that other people that are resellers might be interested or this video could be helpful to them. So I appreciate you doing that for me. Let's get into it with the sales. I had one Depop sale and it was a Nike tennis skirt, so I don't pick up Nike very often, but tennis skirts are still really trending. This was a black one, just like a basic. I had the Nike symbol up on the waistband and that sold for my full asking price of $25. So that was it on Facebook. I think I had maybe a marketplace sale, but I'm not sure. I had some issues with marketplace this week as usual. I think I listed a skirt and I used the word military in the title because it had camo on it and they like flag that. They told me I couldn't buy or sell on marketplace. So then I pushed request review, then I got it back. Then it went away again with something else. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's such a mess, but I'm back, so we'll see how long it lasts this time. So just one sale on Marketplace as well. It was a Lane Bryant sweatshirt. It was a Bon Jovi living on a prayer, had a graphic on the front. This did have a few stains that I sadly could not get out. And so I sold it for $11.20. I am running a 20% off promotion on all of my Marketplace items. So that sold with that. I also sold a Torrid Star Wars shirt, but the buyer requested to cancel. So I did cancel on that. So kind of sad with those. My Mercari, however, was pretty good, I feel like. So let me tell you what I just sold on Mercari. Okay, so I sold this pair of Honey Love shapewear. This is a really good shapewear brand to be on the lookout for. So I've sold it new and used before, but the last couple of times I've sold these same pair. They're called the Power Shorts of shapewear, new with tags. One was plus size, this was in a size extra large, and it sold for $56, so that was a great sale. Next were a pair of Teos boots. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. I've sold this brand before, like sneakers and tennis shoes, um, outdoorsy kind of sometimes. These sold super quick for $39. All of my Rock Revival jeans have been selling quick. I don't think I have any more left. These ones sold very quickly. They were in a size 32 and they were a boot cut style. They sold for 40. Next were a pair of Allen Edmonds dress shoes. This can be a bolo for men's dress shoes, but there are some older styles that don't do very well. All of them on the inside, if it's not worn off, it says the style name. So it'll say like, I don't even know what some of the style names are, but it'll say it like it's printed on there. So these ones were in a size nine triple E, which I think is like narrow, really narrow maybe, or is that A? Is that wide? I don't know, whatever it was, they sold for $64, so that was great. So make sure you're looking for the newer styles. Um, and the next is something I don't hardly ever pick up. It was a pair of ice hockey pants and a men's size large. They were with the coats at a Goodwill one day and they were priced at $7. And I looked up comps, the brand was Bauer and they did really well. They sold within a month or a month and a half for $57. So that was really good. Next was a Desigual dress. I sold this very quickly. It wasn't a size extra small, long sleeve that sold for 30. This Torrid sweatshirt sold super fast. I think it was perfect timing with people starting to get in the Halloween spirit, but it was like, I don't know if you would call it a collab, but it was like, had a 
saying on the front from the 90s movie, The Craft. If you guys remember that, let me know down in the comments below. Me and my sister were obsessed with that movie. And so it was getting tons of attention right away. It sold for $39. So that was amazing. Next was a torrid dress. This was in a size 3X, a black floral sleeveless dress sold for $32. I sold these men's Johnny O shoes. So Johnny O is a good kind of like surf brand to be on the lookout for. It does pretty good with shirts and any of their clothing. I've never found their shoes before. These sold for $32. Next was a John Barbados men's extra, extra large brown sweater. This is sold for $70. So John Barbados is definitely can be a bolo. Some of their plainer stuff or like basic dress shirts don't do that good for me, but I've sold some jeans, a sweater, a jacket really, really well before. Um, the next thing I sold on Mercari was this Ariat sweatshirt. This was also getting lots of attention right away. First of all, it was a cow print, which is like, I don't know, amazing. And then it was a size extra, extra large. So um, yeah, lots of attention, got 147 views. And Mercari, it shows you how many views you have, which is kind of nice. And it sold for $44. Next was a Freya bra, F-R-E-Y-A. These bras are pretty expensive. This was a pink and black bra in a size 34H. I got it for a couple dollars and it sold really quickly for $20. And the last in the Mercari was this J. Crew purse. It was a black leather crossbody purse I picked up at a local Goodwill, I think, for maybe five. And it sold for $37 within a couple of days. So lots of fast flips. That is amazing. Grace is texting me. We just decided to plan another Disney trip. So I'm so excited. The last time we went was in the spring to Disneyland and it's fun, but I love Disney World so much more. And we've never done a trip with just me and her. And my Ryan's kind of like getting over it. <laughs> like I think he would go like every once in a while, but he really likes thrill rides. So we're taking him to Cedar Point in May to celebrate his 16th birthday. He turned 16 in January, but they won't open until May. So Grace and I are like, I need to go. And usually by the time I get done with one Disney trip, I already have in my head or I even have it booked for my next one. And I didn't for like since May and it was driving me crazy. <laughs> so I was like, we need to get something planned. I'm like, okay, Grace. And she's got to be careful now because she's got work. So she can only take off a certain number of vacation days a year. So we're going like a Thursday, Friday, a weekend, and then a Monday, Tuesday. And we're staying at like the cheapest resort we can just because I'm like, I just want to go. So anyway, that's exciting. I'm hoping that sales go really good this fall for so I can be buying Christmas presents, saving up for that. And yeah, volleyball season gets a little bit expensive. Okay, I'm rambling. You guys probably literally don't care. Somehow, oh, Grace was texting me. So Disney, we're going to Disney. I'm so excited. Okay, sales. Let's move on to Poshmark. I sold these Abercrombie and Fitch women's size 32 black jeans. They were the 80s mom high rise. I sold these once on eBay. They got returned for fit. I sold them again on Poshmark for $18. I have stopped accepting returns on eBay, but I haven't done that long enough to see how it's going to affect my sales. But I was getting returns a lot and there were a lot of them were extremely high sale prices. I just had another one that opened up a case for those mousy vintage jeans that I sold for $75. I'm like, kill me now. It was like so many expensive returns. So super frustrating. We will see if that works. A lot of people that are like big into the eBay business say you need to accept them, but it was just annoying me really bad. <laughs> so maybe I'll go back to it eventually, but right now I'm just like, I'm over it. And they're all for fit. Okay. Next is a bundle of two items I sold this morning for $66. It was a pair of Babette pants. These are a size large and they were a navy blue wide leg along with a pair of Athleta pants in a size extra large. Um, they were a newer style. I think they were called like the Seaside Coastal Pants. So that was a great bundle. Actually sold for 60, not 66. Next was a Sundance a Chambray Pearl Snap shirt. I just picked this up recently. I listed it for 35. Someone offered me $20 within a couple of days. So I went ahead and took that quick offer. Next were a pair of Dansko shoes. These were a pair of blue black patent leather clogs. These are the classic nursing style clogs, which don't do as well for me anymore, but sometimes I'll still pick them up if they are really cheap. These ones were, and they sold very quickly for $24. Next was a men's hoodie and it was just called the normal brand. I learned this from Marcus at Dixon's Piggins. I watch his channel and he sold, I'm pretty sure the same sweatshirt on eBay recently. This one sold for $22. I 
I sold this Catherine's 5X full zip plus size jacket for 15. Next were a pair of Rockies jeans. So I've never sold Rockies before. These ones were red and they were dead stock, which means they are vintage new with tags. So I thought I would try them out. Comps looked pretty good. They weren't a size 27, but they were like extremely long, like longer than even my inseam. And they sold for my full asking price of $55. So that's amazing. I don't know if the used ones do as well as new with tags, but I guess maybe check if you find Rocky's jeans. Um, next was a torrid sweater in a size 4X. This is a black long line layering cardigan sold for $22. Here is another pair of Rock Revival jeans. These were the Eddie Bootcut ETTY in a size 28. They sold for $28. Next was an Athleta Extra Large Pink Essence Flow long sleeve top and that sold for 12. I sold this bundle of two items for $40 to a repeat buyer. She's bought a lot of my coach purses before when I used to do the thread up unboxings. I'm not doing those anymore because I wasn't making very much profit and I was getting a lot of trash. I feel like they used to be better than they were. And anyway, it was a coach purse and a Disney parks, extra large flannel pajama top. So I gave her a good deal just being a repeat buyer. Next were a pair of mother jeans. These were in a size 26. They were the black mid rise dazzler ankles. So I think they were a skinny, maybe straight leg style. And those sold for $50. Next was a bundle of three items for $40. One was a Kate Spade black patent leather purse. Another was a pair of Mark Fisher size seven and a half black heels. And then an Alexia Edmore dress. All of these things I've had for a really long time, so I was willing to accept that offer and move them out. Next were a pair of Vionic sandals. I'm still picking up sandals sometimes right now as I'm out at the thrift stores these last couple of weeks, but I'm trying to be really picky with brands that I know do well, good sizes and styles and things like that, just because people aren't gonna be buying them as much. So these ones were in a size eight and they were the Hadley slip-on style. They had really good comps and they sold for $29. Next was a Torrid 4X dress. This was a multicolor midi chiffon pleated dress sold for 30. And I think that was new with tags. Um, next for a pair of Rock Revival shorts. These were like a Bermuda skinny style in a size 31. I, I accepted an offer on those for $15. I sold this Patagonia size small um, gray fuzzy zip up jacket for 23. I think I could have got more for that, but <laughs> my sales were crappy. And I think I some of these were being accepted while I was on my trip, while I was out of town and I didn't do a very good job of preparing beforehand. And I can't talk, um, getting, so I could have new listings every day. I only had enough to do like listings for one day. So I was trying to accept like basically any offers just to keep action going in my closet. So I'm trying to, I'm leaving in September for a boys volleyball tournament in Tennessee for Tuesday to Saturday. So I'm trying to do five extra listings every day and building up my draft bank. So that way I can have my laptop there and still push out listings every day. So we'll see if I can do that. Hopefully I don't have very many days left, so we'll see. Okay, Lisa Todd size large striped heart sweater. This brand is decently expensive, but it doesn't resell very well. It sold for $15. Next to a pair of rag and bone jeans. These were in a size 26. They were the Dre low rise boyfriend jeans and they sold for 17. I sold these Ariat jeans very quickly. They were in a size 34, a boot cut style, and those sold for $40. Next to a pair of new with tags, marine layer pants. I just picked these up at a thrift store for $8 and I listed them for 50. Someone offered me 40 and I went ahead and took that. I sold this Adriana Papel women's dress. This was also new with tags and it was in a size 20 W it sold pretty quickly for $90. So that brand can do well with certain styles. If it's new with tags and a newer style, I almost always pick it up. Next was a coach purse. This was a Hampton Jacquard leather signature purse, kind of an older style, sold for $21. <coughs> Next was a Zimmerman dress. I did find this quite a while ago at a local thrift world for super cheap. Wow, there's my dryer. Um, it was missing the belt which kind of sucked, but I still sold it for $150. So that is amazing. Zimmerman is a huge bolo. If you ever find it, make sure you pick it up. Next was a Lululemon white perforated long sleeve top in a size six that sold for $20. I 
I sold this Cole Haan size small quilted anorak casual coat for $11. I do not do good with Cole Haan anything except for the shoes. I don't know about you guys, but for me, it is not it. Um, I sold these Levi's jeans in a size 26 high-waisted crop flare, and they sold for $20. Next to a pair of Spanx medium petite black faux leather leggings sold for $17. Garnet Hill sweater in a size extra small. I already sold another item just like this, but in a different color. This one is a wool cashmere blend and it sold for $30. And that is it on Poshmark. So we will move on to eBay last. Let me know down below if you have started noticing a pickup in sales. I have, I feel like, especially with like jeans, sweaters, and boots. So be on the lookout for that stuff at the thrift stores. Okay, eBay. I just shipped out this morning the soft surroundings top. It was in a size medium, multicolor floral tunic, sold for $15. Michael Michael Kors purse. This was a metallic tote. I just picked this up literally this week and I listed it and it sold the next day for $22. So that's great. I think I paid five or six for that. Um, next was a surplus skirt. This is the one I was telling you that they flagged on Facebook. I don't even know what this brand was. It said Tell Surplus. Ugh. It was a mini skirt. It was like camo. It gave me very Y2K vibes and it sold in a couple of days for $35. Uh, next we have a pair of Levi's jeans. These were a men's black size 30 silver tab. So the silver tab bag, baggy loose fit jeans are doing really good right now and they sold for $65. I sold these AG Adriano Goldschmied women's jeans. These were black Harper straight leg in a size 28 sold for $35. Next was a Lauren, Ralph Lauren, Noob of Tags, extra large purple turtleneck sweater. I think this got, I think I got this a long time ago in a flip lot and it sold for $14. I sold these Aloe Yoga Goddess leggings for $35 with promoted listing. So I promote everything around 10%, sometimes a little bit more. And yeah, it, most of my sales come from promoted listings. So if you're not doing that on eBay, I think you need to be. Um, these goddess leggings used to sell for more than this and they were very trendy. They don't sell as good anymore, but I still will pick them up if I see them. Uh, next was a Peruvian Connection sweater. If you remember, I already sold this once. It got returned to me for fit. And then I sold it before I could even like open up my return package. Oh, I'm like, what is that noise? Um, and this time it sold for $40. I think it sold for a similar last time anyway, so that's fine. Next was a soft surroundings t-shirt. This was in size women's 1X and it sold for $15. I sold these Lululemon size four wonder under high rise crop leggings very quickly for $30. Next was a vintage shirt. This was a size small yellow. I just got this at a Goodwill because I felt like it was just really cute and it sold really fast for $12. Um, Steve Madden size 11 pink loafers. These sold for $20. Next was a Patricia Nash tote. This was a brown floral leather tote. This brand doesn't do the best for me, but this one did sell within a few weeks for $35. I sold this Citron Santa Monica shirt in a size medium petite. It was silk. This brand usually sells right around $25 to $35 for me. This one sold for $25. I already sold it once, but it got returned and I sold it again. This Lily Pulitzer dress sold very fast. It wasn't a size six. It was a navy blue dress. It was called the Valley Shift Dress and it sold for $40. Next were a pair of Athleta pants. These were in a size 12 tall. They were the Soho joggers and they sold for 25. I don't know if those would have done as well if they were a smaller size, but larger size plus tall usually does better. Next was an Eileen Fisher sweater. This was in a size medium, 100% linen teal. That sold for $28. I sold this number six store. That was the brand. I have no clue. I don't know where I got it. I don't know why I got it. Anyway, it sold for $15. And there's Grace. Hi, Grace. Hi. You got some papers there or something? Or? Um, newsletter. Oh, okay. Oh, shoot. Ellie. Next was a Juicy Couture computer. Okay, Ellie's barking. Grace is home from the break. Juicy Couture laptop case. I got this along with a Juicy Couture purse, which I still haven't sold yet, but I'm getting tons of likes on it. So on... Poshmark gets down to 200 something, but on eBay, I still have it listed for around 300. So maybe I should lower the price on eBay and see if I can get it to sell. Um, the laptop case sold for $19.99. Ellie, Grace is home? Grace looks 
looks so cute. She looks like a college girly. <laughs> that was not it. I had to see your face. You started off with a smile and then went to like a disgust. <laughs> oh. Okay, next I sold an Alice and Olivia dress. This was in a size 10. It was a blue black, um, like kind of like denim flowers all over it, and it sold for $40. And then I sold these Vionic shoes. These were in a size 11. They were the Malibu style. I think I have these in white for myself. They're really comfortable. They were sold for $30. Uh, another pair of Rock Revival jeans. These were in a size 34. They were the easy boot cut style and those sold for 45. I sold this Storybook Knits sweater. So I usually pick up these cardigans if they have like really interesting um, designs on them. This one had like a tiger on it with tiger stripes and it sold for $30. And that's it on eBay. And that is it for my sales. So thank you so much for watching. I'll be back Sunday with a haul video for you. I don't know if it's going to be my like normal haul video or yeah, I think it will just a normal haul video. I'll try to get a thrift with me in soon, but I've just been busy and it takes me a lot longer when I have to film in the thrift store. So make sure you come back on Sunday for that. And I'll see you guys again soon.